Hello everyone and welcome to FC Bytes. Today we are going to recap on the news, including what players Laporta plans to buy and sell if he becomes the president, the person chosen to be the future general manager of Barca, and Piquet's willingness to play against PSG this Tuesday. So let's start. There are news on Laporta plans if he becomes the president of Barcelona in the coming elections. We should remember that Laporta is one of the three candidates who is running for president of Barcelona in these elections in March, and according to all the polls, he's the front runner. Well, RAC1, a Catalan radio station that usually has very good information regarding Barça, reported that Laporta has chosen Mateo Alemany as general manager of Barça. Mateo Alemany is a two-time former president of Mallorca and a former general manager of Valencia, where he built the team that won the Spanish Cup in 2019 against Barça. This is worth noting because before that Spanish Cup, Valencia hadn't won any trophy in 11 years and was in the middle of an institutional crisis, kinda like Barcelona these days. Mateo Alemany is regarded as one of the best general managers in Spain, and for instance, several years ago, Florentino Pérez tried to hire him for Real Madrid. However, Mateo Alemany rejected the offer. In addition of hiring Mateo Alemany, Laporta is said to be focused on renewing Dembele, whose contract runs out in a year and a half. According to sources close to the presidential candidate, Laporta considers Dembele as a unique player and one of the foundations of Barcelona's future. Regarding the future, Laporta is also working on acquiring three new players, Eric Garcia, a left-back, where the player on top of the candidates list is Gaia from Valencia, and a striker. The striker that Laporta and his teams will pursue is highly dependent on what's going to happen with Kuman, if whether he stays as a Barcelona manager or he's let go. It's not a secret that Kuman wants the pie, who finished his contract with Olympique de Lyon next summer and is the second top scorer in the French league. However, sources close to Laporta say that they are not completely sold on the pie, and they have another player in mind. The name of that striker hasn't been leaked yet. Nevertheless, the list of potential strikers for next season is not too large considering that Barcelona will have no money next summer, and the player should come as a free agent or after paying a very low transfer fee. For the last month and a half, Kun Agüero has been linked to Barcelona, so maybe that's the name that Laporta has chosen. Regarding players leaving Barca, Laporta's team has a list of 5-6 players they would like to sell. Some of the names are well known, such as Untiti or Junior. An unexpected one though is Chanik, who is well considered in the Premier League and Laporta and his team believe they can get a high transfer fee despite his disappointing season with Barca. Lastly, Laporta also wants to promote Ilash and Conrad as a full players of the main squad, and also slowly but steady include Alejandro Balde, a 17-year-old left-back, into the main team. Switching gears, as we mentioned in the past episodes, Piquet's recovery from the injury he suffered last November against Atletico is progressing faster than expected. Sources close to the players say that he wants to test actually his condition before PSG match and decide whether he can play this Tuesday. Kuman is not completely solid in this idea since he doesn't want to rush his recovery and risk losing him again and he prefers waiting and getting him ready for the second leg of the Champions League and the Spanish Cup. We will need to see. So that was all for today, thank you very much for your attention. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and subscribe. If you have any comment, write it down below and see you next time.